out the play second that you can see. Uh, I know we've got a hitbox player. Um, ben Rogan? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ben Rogan plays hitbox. I'm not sure if he's brought it with, with him, but he definitely plays hitbox. So we're going to the Forgotten Realm. This is the floor break stage. This could be very... So it's very interesting that. because it kind of changes the whole combo game. Is that you want to spike them down and you can even yeah, extend yeah, your combo. So take them to the wall. So we've got Akuma from Lord Dark Dan. Oh, no. That's is that Lord Dark Dan? No, he plays um, Kazuya. I would say Kazuya. I think we've got the names back to front again. Yeah. Um, so, oh, Dino Boy goes by. I know definitely Um, he does play Akuma. Dino Boy was actually talking about Akuma. Yeah. I actually, no, think about it. I actually saw him playing Akuma in casuals. So it'd be quite interesting. So Akuma, definitely, um, I would say he's a new, he's a new character to Tekken, definitely. And personally, I think he really bends the rules of Tekken. I've had lucky, I've been lucky to, to have a lot of his time with them, Akuma, and I feel he's really fresh to the game. And Lord Dark Dan just Lord Dark Dan is just not <laughs> he wasn't even letting Akuma start there. But it was good to see his as we were discussing off stream earlier, as soon as he blocked a move, oh that's gonna be nice. Yeah, and there's Lord Dark Dan's at execution unfortunately with the combo. But this is his first or second time in the game, so natural pick. As soon as uh, no, that's launch punch. Yeah, that's launch punch. Yeah. So what um um Dino Boy is doing wrong, the, the names are backwards, but what Dino Boy is doing wrong with Akuma is when he's getting those jump ins on hit, what he needs to do is go into a jab and then Shoryuken and an FADC cancel it, which is using Akuma's bar at the bottom left, as you can see. Yeah, as you can see, he's starting there. That's a nice combo. It wasn't the most optimized to use both his bars, but big good fun. Gonna go downstairs? Yes, nice. Is it, is it possible when you, you get a focus in Tekken 7? Oh, there's three electrics almost. In Tekken 7, when you get a ground break, the, the bounce is considerably higher than yes. Tekken Tag 2. Would that allow for maybe Lord Dark Dan to get a high splat now? Um, not really a high splat, it was just splatting. So he probably could just do like a. A delayed hop kick as well. Even an electric and re yeah. him against the wall. But it gives you enough time to. Yeah, to it definitely gives you it, enough time. Definitely. And. Danny's gone back to the character select. He's gone back to character select. I'm sure Dino Boy earlier was playing Kazuya Link. Nishima. I'm sure it was. Link, are you? Uh, someone next to me. Next to me. I'm not sure because it was two people. It was Danny oh. and his teammates sitting playing and they were discussing and helping Lars each other. So they, oh, was playing, they were playing a variety of different characters. So it's Lars. So the other SCC boy, I'm not sure who he is, is playing Link. Okay. And he's doing some really interesting stuff because I've not really seen a lot of. Xiao Yu players in Tekken 7 and it You haven't seen a lot of Xiao Yu players? I've seen Xiao Yu everywhere. That's all I see is Xiao Yu, Xiao Yu, Xiao Yu. That was mm. that's the one that I've seen the most of. She seems scary. Yeah, definitely. But we got Lars here. Um, people actually say that Lars isn't that strong. People yeah. really doubt him. I, I, I think he's still capable. Yeah, I still yeah, he's definitely it, still it, viable it, in this game. I think that's one of the beauty of Tekken games as well. Because <laughs> even when some characters are considered war. You're never going to get like nine one matchup. It's, it's everyone has a chance to take, and it's arguably one of the, the most balanced fighting games out there, for sure. It's everything feels fair to an extent. Yeah. But uh, yeah, nice there has been a lot of people, especially after that wonderful campaign of fucking Lars. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have got as many buffs as people like, but I do love his new costume. I really like this kind of battle armor. Yeah, he's got going even because really he is new costume, I guess. Because he is new costume, he's just like. It kind of reminds me of the way my granddad used to dress in a kind of long coat and a nice suit. It's really nice, I like it. It's, I, I think a lot of the new outfits in Tekken are really, really good. Like, I, I think a lot of kind of styles gone into them and everyone looks a lot more vibrant or they, in a sense. Yeah, and that's going to be a nice health suite. Health suite. So we've got one round of peace. So um, Dynavo definitely was doing a lot better than the Akuma pick. So it's probably, he, I know he has, does play Tekken, he has previous Tekken experience, so probably, well, definitely Lars. Before, yeah. Oh, so yeah, probably more familiar. Especially this matchup, this isn't a new matchup, this is, this is one that you can Nice punish on the arc, Lars. Yeah. And you can duck that kick, and it will go up on Lightning. Lightning screen. Nice, got the combos. Big and damage. That's carry to the wall as well there, that's a, a large carry. I'll even kind of follow up and go off to Broken 2 for not broken. Okazemi gets up wrong. So people saying that Okazemi's not in this game, but as you saw right there, you caught him in his back. Wrong way, yeah, and that's nice. Oh, unlucky. And then get Quinn Piston. Unfortunately, uh, just slightly off axis or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh nice 
I'm gonna go to the wall. Huge skin is nice. That's Very really huge good damage. Way. Is that guaranteed? That's all. The wall combo. Oh, could have art blasted that. Could have art blasted that again. Doesn't take full punish, but goes to the line screen. Yeah. Nice. Catches him. Probably side rolling. Yeah. 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 That wasn't natural. No. Have we you have got seen this? This is pull A, pick C, I think. Oh, pull A, okay. It is pull A. We'll have pull B up after this. So we're, we've got a lot more taken to come. Wow, gets That's the line screen. It seems like. A Big lot time. of rescue lightning screws are really paying off. Yeah, they're really Danny paying off. Dino Boy. And he's, he's doing well. It's just unfortunate that it's... I think maybe picking Lars earlier on may have benefited him a wee bit yeah. more. Yeah, he's, he's definitely doing a lot better with Lars. Um, as you can see, he's two rounds apiece. He doesn't punish the downfall too. Oh, goes for so the rage drive, but that was really good from Dan there to grab it out. So, oh, and yeah, this is definitely... Yeah. This is over, yeah. That's going to hit. So the thing with um, rage arts is that they have armor, so they will absorb your attack. Is it did they lose to some lows though? Nope. Is that no, is that just That's power crush. Power crush. Rage, arts. Full armor. Armor. 